fishing today. offshore in San Diego gang when we get hookups it's important that you follow your fish some of you guys are going to be a little slow at following your fish but don't worry if you get in any tangles we can take care of the tangles for you those of you that have any problems with the crew we can take care of those problems too so please do your best to follow your fish and the crew and I will do our best to take care of you in any way we can Oh, shit. Medic. Gang, uh, the crew and I are here. We're going to discuss tackle, how we're going to use it, what types, and when. First of all, we're going to start out with our iron fishing. Yeah, this is some weight right here, baby. Scott and Mike have got some curling irons. These are good for deep water fish. We've also got the hot iron. Oh, man. That is really good. The hot irons is really good to use when fishing slow because it's the hottest. We've got this curling iron, fresh out of the gal's tackle box. These curling irons are red hot too. Scott's got a crocodile. Here's another crocodile. These things work real, real good. These crocodiles generally work on tops. Now make sure you're, you uh, are careful with these crocodiles because we don't want anybody getting bit. We had a crew member lose a finger a couple days ago. That's a surface type crank. And talking about crankbaits, we've got some swim baits. And we've got two colored swim baits. It's a good idea to have both colored swim baits because you never know whether they're going to be eating the black or the white. You want to use your hairy gorilla hooks. Now, this is genuine gorilla hook. I used to have a couple more crew members, but they got killed ripping the fuzz off the gorilla. These egg sinkers are really, really awesome. They work good and they'll get you down. Plastics work real good. There's two types of plastic. You've got your Visa Gold and your regular Visa. It's important that you have the right plastic at the right time. So don't be afraid to use your plastics. Gang, okay, you're welcome to get any of this gear out of our tackle shop, okay? As the day goes on, if you're a little bit low on cash, don't worry. We turn right into a pawn shop. Now after you guys run out a little bit of dough when fishing's good, the galley becomes a pawn shop. And we'll take your reels, your watches, everything. So don't worry if you run out of money, we'll pawn your stuff. And when we get back in, we'll get your gear back to you. Unless you want us to keep it. Did you want something to eat from the galley? Uh, no, I needed to buy some tackles. That's yeah, the tackle store. Oh, you yeah, guys just opened that perfect. Hey, um, I just lost some tackle, so what do you recommend? I've got uh, swim baits here that uh, you just wind them up in case you can't cast too well. These swim baits work, work perfect out there Dang. for the person that can't cast too well. That's good. Put them on your line and they swim around, no problem. That's got the, either the surface swim bait here or you've got the deep diving swim bait here. Um, that works good with a couple egg sinkers with it, you know. That thing just swims right along underwater like that. Let's go with the egg sinker and the deep diving bait. How much is that? That'll be $10. 10 bucks. That's a deal. 10 bucks. Okay, I there you go. All right. Thanks. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, man. I just lost like a 100 pound bluefin on that last swim bait. Uh, let me get another one. Here's 10 bucks. Uh oh, that's not going to be enough for this swim bait. This swim bait's about 100 bucks. But if need be, look. The pawn shop's open also. Shoot, a hundred bucks. You got anything you need you can pawn for this? Uh, let's see what I got. Like a brand new iPhone. Is that one of them nice ones? Yeah, yeah that's that, that, that'll do, that'll yeah, do. Perfect. Hey, that's, thanks, I get going, man. It is like a hot bite out there. Oh yeah, it's a thanks. hot bite. Can you take these rods for a pawn? He can give these back, right? Well, maybe. Thank you. I need at least 40 pound tests. Probably on another pole so I can keep switching back. Oh, and no forth. problem. The pawn shop's open. Oh, good, because I actually, you know, I lost money. Um, last you got anything uh, you can pawn? I have a key to a. Um, what kind of car? It's a Mercedes. Oh, uh, we'll take those until later. Okay. Yep. All right, appreciate that. There you go. Uh, oh, that looks great. Any guarantees on these? Oh, uh, no. Appreciate that. You're a lifesaver. Be careful with that in the galley. Yeah, thanks. 
Oh, jeez.